Hi, welcome to Refugee Roots Are At Home. I'm Ant and this is our ninth week of doing this together. And um, I hope you've really enjoyed the watercolours. We're learning a lot of skills with them. Um, and this week will be week nine, our watercolour splash profile. So we're gonna paint a face profile which is the outline of the side of a face. So for example, if I look this way, you can see my face from the side. So you can see the forehead, the nose, my nose, my lips, my chin. So this is what we'll be drawing, the outline of a face. If you don't have, if you don't wanna take a picture of yourself on a phone and work from that, um, it's a bit tricky to do it from a mirror so you can um, use the picture um, from the internet, use your imagination, just make a made up face or use my side profile. Um, it would be nice to have yours um, on the painting because then it's you. Um, so I'll go like this just for a second in case you want to pause it. Hopefully you've got a phone and you can just take a picture of yourself like that and then look at the picture on your phone and work from that. So what we'll do, once you've got a face, um, there we go, get everything, let me show you. So if you've got a picture on your phone, just pop that up and work from that. Or you can pause the video on my face and just going to double check what I've got. So you need your black piece of paper or card, two of your small pieces of paper, your watercolour tin, brush and this one's a bit different. We're not just using a brush, we're going to use a sponge. So some of you might have nice white sponges, some of you might have this kind of sponge washing up sponge, um, some of you might have this kind of sponge, doesn't matter, both do the job, um, so it's just um, to chance what you've got in your pack. So we're going to draw the face, the side of the face, like I said this is tricky to so you can't really do it in front of a mirror. Um, so it's easier to take a picture from the side of your face. If you don't want to do your face, um, like I said, you could use my face, which was at the start of this video. Um, or you could just make one up. So I'm... drawing a made up face at the moment but you want to make the features quite prominent and then we cut it out so you use your scissors to cut it out so I've just drawn in pencil the side of a face and then cut it out and you have something a bit like that so you can just see in the light there you won't be able to see these details, we're just using it to block the paint on our um, picture. So what we're doing is holding the face down tightly on our watercolour paper. If we had tape, we'd probably tape it down. Um, so if you do have tape, you can use that. But otherwise, we're going to have to be really careful that we're pressing really hard on the black piece of paper um, and then we choose choose what colour you want to use so I've done quite a lot of reds for this one um, I might do one with some blues now or greens just for a change so this is the trickiest bit 
is painting this and try not to make it too wet so don't add too much water make sure you really rub your paint so it's a bit thicker and then go around the edge holding down really tightly the black paper the black face and moving your hands around as you go around and it doesn't matter if you get any paper on the any paint on the black paper um, as you can see I'm going over the edge but it's not too wet that it's gonna seep underneath the edge um, yeah so we're just using this kind of like a template um, or a stencil we're not going to be using the face the black paper for anything else so you can kind of um, use different techniques that you like so you can paint very softly you can um, dab with the brush and again whatever you choose to put next to that color just keep making sure it's not too wet and that you're holding down the profile of the face so remember profile is the outline um, when the face is turned to the side and it will be different for everyone everyone's um, face looks different from the side okay and I'm going to blend these two colors that I'm using together but without using too much water now this really is <laughs> The moment of truth where we get a surprise as to what is underneath so let's take off ah oh, that's worked really well can you see sometimes if it's too wet you'll you'll go the paint will go underneath and you won't get such a clear line it will be a bit fuzzier um, and that's okay that's why we've got <laughs> <coughs> oh excuse me <laughs> as well we've got two sheets of paper so we can um try again if it doesn't work out so this has worked out quite well i'm just going to finish off around a little bit uh, with the brush and then move on to the sponge because you might be thinking well what is the sponge for so let's just now that we've moved further away from the face we can make it a bit more watery now that it's not right up. We're not painting right next to the black piece of paper anymore. So now we use our sponge, dip it in the water and choose a colour that we're going to um, use to go around the sides. Um, I quite like the yellow might use this kind of dark yellow and really rub so you can see I'm rubbing the sponge on there so it's picking up some of the color on the sponge and we won't know what it's this is going to look like till we start dabbing and then just dabbing around the outside So this is step three, dab your sponge and it's making kind of splashy marks, so it's making kind of um, stamp, like a stamp mark as well. And you can also add to that, so you can do as much of this sponge dabbing as you like and then it can add to that with your brush. You can again paint on top. And you can add some more splashes. This can get a bit messy, so just make sure you've got some paper down and you don't mind um, getting paint on. Um, and 
I'm going to gra grab some of the green again because we haven't had much of the green. And load up your brush with some colour and then put your finger and just tap it around the page and around the face. So hopefully there's not too many splashes going on your face. If there is, you can just pop that on to guard it and then we can just tap tap the brush onto our finger and that causes some splashes to go on the page too. Might need it quite wet um, on the paint. There we go, and you can carry on. You might want to carry on painting around the dabs. You can let that dry and choose another colour on your sponge, and you can always do some dabs with that. Don't work too much on it whilst it's wet because it will all mix together. There we go, that's your splash profile and I've only just, I've only done one, but you can try again, you can make another face, a different face, um, someone else's or that looks slightly different and can do another one on a second sheet of paper and with different colours too. So here's some ideas for faces. You can go further down and um, draw the neck on as well. That's quite a nice one. So give it a go and I hope you enjoy. See you next week.